What is going on, real people? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, got a little something special for y'all. Got you got a new star out here with me today. Ah, got Eddie up, from Texas reeling, the man, the myth, the legend over there. And today, guys, we are out here on the river. Eddie, what river is this? The Big Cypress. The, the Big Cypress River. So we're out here today. We're out here like in the middle of it. We went pretty good distance in. We found this bank we're on here now and we're posted up here. We just caught some little bluegill we got on live lines. And whatever we catch today, we're gonna be cooking it just for y'all. So yeah, this is gonna be fun. I have uh, yet to do this. And I get to collab with Eddie, which is awesome. So y'all make sure to go give him a subscribe and a big thumbs up. Appreciate it. But guys, hope y'all enjoy the video. Let's get to catching some fish. So Texas reeling over here about to throw the cast net. Try to catch us some bait. Hey guys, what well, if, if I'm successful with this and you're new, you gotta subscribe to both channels. Exactly. <laughs> Texas reeling, dark wheel action, don't forget it. God, it's already a crazy look at this. <laughs> it's already wrapped Everybody. around the steering wheel. Everybody's probably like, there's no way we're subscribing to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> That was good. See, and you were here doubting yourself. Yeah. Just gotta. It's like riding a bike. Get by. Watch you catch like a big old gar. Yeah. Oh, we got a bunch of leaves. We got ghosted. Since I threw it, it's all crispy. <laughs> Watch that, that be the one that catches bait. No more excuses. I've had my practice pros. That was a good one. Come on, something. Give me something. Give me something, dude. Nada. Is there any fish in this room? <laughs> That's the room. What deep in I'll give it one more shot and I'll let you chunk it around. How about that? Okay, fair enough. That was a fish with a leaf kind of. <laughs> Alright. Now, you want to throw it off the bank or off the boat? I think it's harder off the boat. Because you got to watch out for the seats and stuff. Yeah. Throwing it off the bank might be a little bit easier, but we just definitely won't get far enough of a reach. Yeah. It's up to you. Whatever you'd. I'll try it. Try it off the boat. Is it wrapped around anything? Alright. I'm good. I got it. I see some minnows and stuff. I don't know if they'll get caught in there though. There's like a whole school of minnows right there. Right in front of us? Yeah, but they're the smaller ones. 
I'll probably just swim right through. Don't laugh at me, it's been forever since I've done this. You did better than I did. Didn't go further. I think you do this without telling me. <laughs> Nothing. There's gotta be some somewhere. Yeah. You may even have to troll around these trees or something and chunk it around. Try to get a bluegill. If we can get one bluegill cut in half, we can both get a line out there. Yeah. Let's just try to find a bluegill. Even, even, I didn't, I don't think I brought any small hooks to even, like, if we caught a cricket and use a, <laughs> use it as bait. I don't even think I did that. I might have, like, some small jigs somewhere in my tackle backpack. Maybe. As usual, um, unprepared. I come with so many bluegills. Two of them. Yeah. You see them? Yeah, I'm getting it right over the top of them. I think it's sinking too slow. For that, I'm going to throw out in front of them. So they can go in there. Yeah, definitely not fish catching machine. <laughs> Got one. Got one. Got one. Yes. Two of them. Two little ones. Perfect size, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's go. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Got them. I might try to chunk it around. And there's, a, there's a few of them. Those are definitely starters. You can throw these on a hook live. Yeah. I thought about that, but then if they take them, we'll be out of bait again. <laughs> Those and then we can come back and That'll work. Chunk those out and uh, yep. come back to it. These are some freaking ankle breakers right here. Is that a fish? Uh, all right, so we went down the bank and we got these little ones right here. And those are going to be our starters for out here. So we catch more, then if I catch another one, I'll throw it on the pole. But I need to. I need to rig up. I'm gonna put mine on hole. So, there's mine. Oh, he's not happy about it. Oh crap! Your pole. You gotta buy it. Eddie's pole just went in the water. <laughs> you think he's still on there? 
Das ist ein Ich probiere mal hin. Ich weiß nicht, wie es ist. Ich hoffe, er ist noch da. Ich habe den Boden. Du gab ihm einen guten Tag, da. Ja, gib ihm. Jeez. You're about to get in the water. I had it behind the, <laughs> the, the cleat of the boat. He might come back for it. I hope so. That was a really good pull. Yeah, it was. Scared the crap out of me. <laughs> so, so far the cut bait has got the hit. Yeah. Live bait still ain't got jack. <laughs> I was crazy. Actually, I think that's my. I'm probably gonna do that. I'm gonna cut mine in half and then throw it off the back of the boat. You can use that other half. Uh, I got it on the log. I still got mine. Got to do something with him. You can see it. Oh yeah, he got the tip of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I bet he grabbed it and just yanked on it real fast. Yep, on both sides you can just see it right there. What are you thinking, catfish? I don't know. Maybe. I think a gar would have made us some holes. Yeah, that he thought would just slowly slam with it. Usually the catfish would just yank it really hard. So while my rod sits over there, I'm about to make a few casts, see if we can catch some bass while we're waiting. Ah, oh, yes please. Water? Yes please. Water would be fantastic. Ooh, it's nice and cold. <sighs> All right, guys, so we uh, left the bank. We were there for about an hour and some change, didn't catch anything, and we're barely catching any perch. So me and Eddie came to the decision that we're just gonna cruise around and bass fish and catch as many bass as we possibly can. And anything that's between 12 and 14 inches and smaller, we're gonna keep, and we're gonna cook right here off the boat. So that is the plan. We're gonna pick our pick up our bass rods now and uh, start fishing and try to catch them. All right, guys. So uh, first fish in the boat. The skunk is out, and we got us a uh, nice little bass on the white shatter. Ah, oh, dang! Hey, when they get right inside. Uh, well, he's under twelve. Yeah. You know what that means. We're gonna eat him. <laughs> uh, where do you want to put him? Chuck him in the. Got the live well. Cooler. I got the number drinks in there. Uh, let him flop around down there. I mean, we're gonna dock up right here anyway. Okay. You can chill right there, buddy. I thought it was grass at first because it just felt like weight and it wasn't moving. It stopped it. it stopped it. Yeah, and I was like, what? So I started pulling on it and then started going sideways. So, caught another one finally. This is number two off the white shadder bait. They seem to be really digging that one today. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so that's two bass down. It is a struggle today, so hopefully we can catch another one. You wanna keep trying and catch another one? We can. That'll be six fillets. Yeah. All right, let's do that. Go down there with your brother. Yeah. Die in peace. I'm surprised he went after the chatterbait. Chatterbait's almost as big as he is.
No way. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. You might have to do. You might have to Come do. on now, bro. <laughs> what were you thinking going after that? Oh, I got him like a unicorn. <laughs> it's all in the top of his mouth. Oh. They want the moving bait because I would just fish the crap out of that spot. With yeah, the that's what I was thinking. You left, I was like, Man, that looks really good. Yeah, <sighs> yeah, that's three bass. Yeah, at least parts of them. <laughs> yeah. What that used to be. Like an old uh, pump dock. It's pretty cool. You got him? Yeah, way to go. Too small? Yeah. I'm just calling you about to like, like the last one you caught. Oh. Still right running on that tree. I was running just like this, like a tiger. Just one snap. That looks so good. We can do that. Yeah, it does. It's nice. To get out and drag us forward so you don't get your shoes. I think it's the motor that's hitting this one. It has a trim on the top. Where are they? 
Awesome. Tell me when you're ready. All right, guys, so we caught these three bass right here. It's been a struggle today. It really, really was. We've been out here since nine. Yeah, nine. And it is now 132. So it's been a struggle. We caught these three bass. And since this is survival, you know, catch what you cook off the river, this is what we're catching and cooking. <laughs> so we're going to start off with uh, this big one here. Caught this one first thing this morning. They come up, go behind the gill plate. He's a little stiff from sitting. <laughs> and you come down, you turn your knife, and you feel that spine. And you just follow it down. Just like that. And then once you get past that last fin, push it through. Come up in this. Down and go. Go over the ribs. So I have no bones in it. Ah, slippery. There we go. First fillet. Beautiful. Hot sauce. Chicken flavor, but still good. Fish tastes like chicken. Smells good. Making me, making me hungrier than I already was. <laughs> now here's another thought that I did not think about. Do you have anything to take these out with? I do not. Um, well, we're going to use a knife, yeah. Because yeah. these are plastic, aren't they? Yeah, they'll melt up. Yeah, they melt. Knife it is. Knife it up. Ooh, that looks good. It does. You're yep, the man, you're the man. <laughs> after a hard day of fishing and struggling, you know, it's all you got. It's gonna taste amazing though, I'm starving. Yeah, it is. We're gonna make some sandwiches yeah. out of these bad boys. Got some bread for them, it's gonna be good. Heck, yeah, yeah. I'm ready for it. Me too. Oh yeah. Chow time. You might not have bread if you're trying to survive in the wilderness. You know? Use a piece of bark or something. A piece of bark. Yeah. A good old like leaf. Picture it as bread.
You get one big fillet, I'll get the other. Oh, okay. Nice fat sandwich each. Ooh, hot. <laughs> Put a little more hot sauce on mine so it can be hot, hot, <laughs> hot. Cheers. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, that's good. I was actually already hungry too. Let me show. My stomach's been around for the past hour. <laughs> this right here hit. All right, guys. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video of the catch and cook out on the river. Big shout out to my man Eddie with Texas Reeling. Had an awesome time, even though it was a struggle. We still got on them. We still made an awesome sandwich out of it. Had a lot of fun. So if you guys like this, make sure to go subscribe to Eddie at Texas Reeling. I'll leave a link in the description below. And give this video the big thumbs up, ring the bell, and subscribe. You heard the man, go subscribe right now before you even click off. Do it. Peace.